then also for the cost uh, column we copy and paste but change here text box one it will be uh, take the value from column six so in order to test this we go here show form show data select an item from the list box click the button edit selected and you see that we have here the units and the 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 cost if we select another one again the units and the cost something happened here mm, sorry we will check it uh, fast because uh, we want everything to go perfect so it's label 3 that caption so this is label 3 and this is label 4 yeah my bad so this should be label 4 that caption great now test again show data edit selected id 60 499 6 60 499 you see good so now we have the data uh, passed through a form to another this was the big uh, issue as i remember uh, for some uh, of the viewers so this is the way to do this now in order to save the data back in our database the database which is here in the back we will write uh, some code also for the save button in order to save uh, our changes in the database to do that we will go in the designer again in user form 2 and double click the button save and here we will write the code that will uh, loop through our uh, database and compare the ID with the with our ID from the form with the ID that we have here and if a matching is found then this two values units and cost will be updated here in the database so we loop we check and we set the data in order to do that we double click the button save and we start writing the code for the loop and in i as integer we define the an integer for the number of the row then we have we said uh, that we create a loop uh, we do that with the for function for i equal to 2 i'm saying 2 because uh, we're starting from the line 2 to make the checkings so we're not interested in the line 1 which is with the header for i equal to uh, uh to range you remember this formula this function to to get the maximum uh, row a ten thousand let's say uh, dot and and x up that row then next i now since we're looking we want also to add a condition so if cells this is the are the cells from our database i it's the current row that one so if the id from the database equals to, with the id from our um, uh, from our uh, form label for that caption it means that we have a match and if it's the case we will say cells I uh, column six from the database. It will be our uh, value from the um, form, which is text box one dot text, and the same. This is so. This is for uh, units, and this is for cost. It will be seven and text box two. In order to ah, also we'll add a message. Message box saved the, the information the information and unload me in order to close the form we click it select test it show the data 56 we say 100 and cost 6 save you see that data was uh, edited directly in the database now edit again 500 10 save you see that it was changed here so guys i hope that this was very useful and i'm waiting for your comments don't forget to subscribe bye